This is the Podcraft Beer Show, episode 32, for Monday, February 22nd, 2021. Today we examine four craft beers, a kettle sour, a hazy IPA, a wild ale, and a pastry stout. It's the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Hello. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. Today, we're going to uh, talk about some beers uh, here locally, uh, a few different breweries, Charlie. Some from Southern California, some from Northern California. Well, I think you guys are going to talk. I'm just going to drink. There it is. So we're going to uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to check out a beer from from cra- uh, Track 7 uh, in Sacramento. Uh, then we'll we'll move on to a beer uh, locally here from Coronado. Uh, then a... Um, I think a monkish. I think you have a, a sour from monkish, and finally a stout from uh, from slice. Woo-hoo. What do you got there, Charlie? Uh, I'm afraid you guys won't be able to drink this, so I'm just going to fall on the sword here and take it myself. Dog oh, on that smells fantastic. Oh, look at the color on it. Looks fantastic. Oh, looks like a big old juice drink. Smells wonderful. So the first beer Charlie uh, Charlie grabbed for us Ooh. is Among Us uh, Sussed Out Orange. Uh, it's it's a a fruit. Uh, what is it? A, a kettle sour. Yeah, uh, fruited kettle, kettle sour from uh, from Track Seven in Sacramento. Mango, pineapple, and tangerine. They say uh, hundred pounds per barrel of mango, passion fruit, and tangerine. Passion fruit. That's what we're talking about. Anytime you mix passion fruit with tangerine. Anytime you mix tangerine just about in anything. Oh, there's our our fan. He's wanting a little taste of the beer. Four-legged fan. Wow. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Can we get more of that? I think it's a... Um, so that's a rotating lineup. And they do great fruited beers. That like great kettle sours. Fantastic. Um, this place is like walking distance from Brian's house. Right around the yeah, corner. He uh, saw that. Track seven. Oh. I'm a fan. I'll take a walk around the corner for that. I don't know that I've had a uh, a, a kettle sour from these guys that I haven't liked. So they, it's a rotating lineup. So they um, they do a couple of different releases a month, maybe maybe um, one or two releases a month. But but all their kettle sours are are spot Super on. Super tasty, man. That's an all day or. Gosh, I love that color. Just that little spark of tangerine in there is my favorite. Wow. Mm-mm. That's tasty, huh? <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, they, they don't mess around That's there. That's a anything. 4.9 out of 5, if you ask me. Charlie's a fan I'm of the, uh, with that. the Among Us. That is sweet. It's a perfect beer for somebody who says they don't like beer. And yeah, pour this or for sours. Them. Yeah. You know anybody like that? Yep. <laughs> this is not sour, though. I know, but it's it's sour enough. I mean, you wouldn't drink that. It's, it's not. I'll tell you what. It's not a Pilsner. So, I'll tell you what, man, that is something else. Gosh, good call, Chris. Yeah, no, that's that's really good. Like the, uh, it's not not too acidic. You know, it's um, it's fantastic. Is there any left in there? Nope, it's all gone. You sure, positive. Um, I, I finished smell it. it I think there is. <laughs> yeah, some floaties. Nothing wrong with floaties. I think they they say right on the uh, the side of the can. Um, there's like a four step process, yeah. Steve. Store cold, drink fresh, invert, agitate before pouring. Yeah, whatever. Yes, there is pulp. <laughs> right. It was agitated. Without so stirring there's your floaties. And pouring. That is some good stuff. So we That's, haven't had the track seven before. I don't think we've yeah. had anything from them. No. Oh, wow. They I, um I've never even seen anything down here in any stores or anything. You did you get that from some of your your buddies or something? Yeah, so I got this. Uh, one of my coworkers um, sent me a few few beers locally. Um, this was this was one of them. Uh, he sent me um, a couple of beers from Cellar Maker, and then he had uh, some slice and some uh, some Track Seven in there. I think sounds good. I like it. Let me tell you. That's that's a good start, if you ask me. So, what do you guys think of that 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 brewery, the Egyptian brewery they found? <laughs> that yeah, crazy, that was right? pretty wild, yeah. huh? Yeah, so I was. 
Yeah. So the um, the Egyptian paleo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Um. How many? How many barrels? They was said that? five thousand. Yeah. Five thousand. Yeah. Five thousand gallons. Right. Right. Yeah. Big drinkers. Or was it five thousand? Yeah. Yeah. It was five thousand liters. Liters right? or something like that. Yeah. That's a lot of beer. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I read somewhere at one point uh, that they found an ancient brewery somewhere, and the guys actually scraped off some of the product so they could get the yeast and get a starter going for it or wow. something. Whatever they yeah. have to do for uh-huh. that, you know, I don't know yeah. how that works, but they brewed an IPA with that beer, and it was pretty good, supposedly. Hmm. I can't remember what exactly the whole story on it, but yeah, I would uh, I'd be interested in checking that out. Yeah, so it says fifty nine hundred gallons at a at a time. Wow! So that's fifteen thousand liters yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, seventeen, sixteen thousand. That's a lot of beer. Yeah, I'll drink it. It was apparently made just for like a specific king or something like that too. They, Which way are we going here? Pharaoh, here? Yeah. A specific pharaohs, like it's his brewery, <laughs> right? That's so. Yeah, can you imagine? Wow. That, they way. must have been more of them. Then I mean, it must have been right. Like, yeah, like it must have been San Diego. You know, it must have been like one on every street corner. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. That's um. Yeah, built for a for a good sized party. The brewery may have been built specifically to supply the royal rituals that were taking place inside the funeral facilities of the kings of Egypt. Ooh, we're on to number two here. Bigger boat. Charlie, why? Uh, Coronado and uh, who else is in there? Or is this straight Coronado? I think it's straight Coronado. Good. I'm liking the smell already. I've had two, so i am got to take a little bit. We got our beer sits in Steve here today. Yeah, I finally brought something. Oh, I guess this is the second beer I brought. Oh, you're the other Steve. Oh, yeah, you're not the beer right. assistant. He's yeah. the beer assistant. You're the beer bringer. Yeah, for once. Yeah. <laughs> no, you brought that uh, uh, island Pacific Islander. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did. That was a gift, too. It's your third time. Yeah, third time. Because the Bergen, the Bergen Stout, right? Bergen Stout. I like so, it. So this is a uh, uh, so bigger boat from Coronado. It's a, uh, a hazy IPA with, uh, uh, with, with raspberries, blackberries, and vanilla. Smells fantastic. It just tastes great. Ooh, I can smell the vanilla. I would have never tried this if wow. I hadn't been on this. If we hadn't done this podcast, those, yeah, those things in an IPA would be I don't know. I'm right, not, you'd I'm walk running, right by. Yeah, yeah. Where did you? Uh, where'd you pick that up at? At the brewery. We were down there in Coronado um, Sunday last Sunday. Oh, okay. For Conrad's birthday. Okay. And um, just drove in and picked some stuff up. Were they? Were they open? Yeah. They were serving food too. Were they? Yeah. You could sit outside or whatever. I think they were serving oh, people inside there. Yeah. They're like twenty percent trying to. Sorry. Eat. Okay. Sorry, it's got lactose in it. Mm. Rinse your cup out. Our our beer assistant can't drink lactose. You almost got I'll him. take care of it for him. <laughs> no yeah, that's worries a, there. Almost that's a her. really really wild uh, combination there. Ooh, like raspberries. Um, Blueberries. No, it's, it's a good combination, though. I mean, that's pretty legit. I mean, if you can get that without in an IPA, come on. No, that's a good beer. It reminds me of that. Um, we did a similar beer. Yeah, we did um, from Burgeon. I think. Yeah, it was. I think so. It was a like well, a, a, a crawler of. Uh, let's look back and. Well, and it's a uh, bigger boat. Is from the. Uh, Jaws movie. Uh, where What's this Jaws movie you're speaking Roy of? Roy Scheider says, uh, we're, you're going to need a bigger boat when he sees the size of Jaws in the water when he was chumming in the movie. It's so got great the, artwork on it. It's yeah. Huge, gigantic, it's the, what's great white. This guy's name, Jack uh, Stricker, is the artist. So that's a pretty cool shark. Anybody can draw, you know, sea life. That's pretty dang cool. I like it. It's like a mean shark, too, man. That's mm-hmm. not a smiley. Nope. Yeah. Super good stuff. Very drinkable. If you're somebody that doesn't like IPAs because of the bitterness, you want to jump into this one, I'll tell you that. And you can get this one. Yep. Can't you? you can walk right in. It's available. Once again, we're just looking out for y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, that's really tasty. It reminds me a lot of that... Uh, um, uh, I'm going to think about that, what that beer was. Yeah, we got to work on that database. Mm-hmm. Reminds you a lot of some beer you drank once. We, we had some Crowlers delivered was it, from it Burgeon. 
Oh, was it from Virgin? I was mm-hmm. talking about. Uh, I was thinking it would taste more like uh, one of the ones from um, Pure Project. There's something illusion or. Here we go. Woohoo! Oh yeah. So this is going to be sour. I can tell. It is. It's a uh, monkish. Is is a wild ale. Oh, look at the color. I got to drink up here. I take some pictures. Mm hmm. Chris, you playing Super Mario or what is that over there? I am playing Super Mario. <laughs> so, this uh, this D- Discordant Melody is a uh, wild ale aged in oak barrels uh, with blueberries, black currants, and boysenberry. Um, this is uh, that bottle's a, a couple of years old. Definitely smells really jammy. It just pours like a purple color. Wow. That really smells pretty, uh, yeah, pretty funky. sour, Funky. Huh? It's got some funky going on there. Are we Man, telling that's you? aged well. So how long have you had it? I probably had that. Probably came out two years ago. Mm. Let me check the date on it if you want. Does it have a date on there? I think that I think they that was bottled before they uh, before we had dates. <laughs> around the around the time of that. Uh, that brewery, yeah, right. Uh, probably the uh, the Egyptian brewery was opened at the same time. That's where it came from. That's pretty good, huh? So I, this has been sitting. Um, I have a refrigerator in my. Um, That's pretty good. It's my refrigerator that I or uh, and near my kitchen that I keep bottles that I'm going to kind of work my way through. And this one's been sitting in there, but I've been fearful of uh, popping that one on my own. Well, this one good. had a cork in it. It's a big bottle. That is a big bottle, yes. right? For sure. Yeah, you definitely need somebody That's else. It's a party to, uh, bottle. That's one you bring to uh, to your over to your buddy's house. Seven hundred fifty mil bottle conditioned. Pour gently. You know what? You know what they say at Casey? They don't pour gently. Yeah. They want all that schmegma at the bottom of the jug to come chugging down. And I'm telling you, they turn it completely upside mm-hmm. down, and they'll pour, you know, six glasses full without tilting that thing back mm-hmm. up and tilting it back down. The guy pours it, and he'll pick it up, and it'll stop it for just a second to move it over to the next one. And every time, he'll just pop it up and down. That's pretty impressive, but mm-hmm. they don't say pour gently. They want you to pour it roughly. So it chugs all in there and... That's how it works, but man, it's this is pretty doggone good for two years older. It's aged well. Yeah, it looks like um, April of like 2018. Okay, so it's um, coming up on three years. Yeah, wow, we got it just in time. Saved it. <laughs> I think you have one of those. I do. I'm sure it's somewhere. Yeah. I probably drank it. Possibly. I don't, I don't know that I have any monkish at all. I don't think you know what you have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's true, too. But I we do, really I do need have the, some we really right need the intern. There. <laughs> I do have some answer right over there. That's the answer. There it is. And that red dragon. I'm kind of afraid to open those. <laughs> but, hey, if somebody's willing to try, I'm willing to give the effort. According to... Uh, one of those we opened up, it was something was foul on the on the crowler, so I had to dump it. But there was absolutely something wrong with it. I don't know what, but um, next time I go back to Virginia, I'll find out for sure. Yeah, yeah, it was a problem with that uh, beverage. One of their crowlers they gave me. Um, I make it my mission to when I go to a brewery like back there or somewhere that I haven't been before, I take beer in there so that I can, you know, hey, why don't you guys try some of this local stuff from San Diego or, you know, usually modern times I'll take in there or, you know, Great Notion or something I have available. And uh, they appreciate it quite a bit. But uh, I bought a couple of Crowlers at this Red Dragon in uh, in Virginia. Everything else I've tasted has been fine, but there was a Hefeweizen that was just, I don't know what was wrong with it. So... 
I need to go back and investigate. Investigate more hefts? No, I'm just, I don't care. I'll just drink everything they got and find out what's wrong. You know, figure it out on my own. Wander around in their brewery. <laughs> on my own. I'll figure it out. So are we ready for number uh, three? What did... Uh, four. Uh, this is four now. Yeah. We sure. busted through these yeah. quick, man. We did. We blew through them like you got someplace to go. <laughs> what? <laughs> do you guys have some... Slow it down, Chris. <laughs> do you guys Pump have... the brakes. <laughs> Steve, what, do you have uh, any beers this week? Yeah, well, I also picked up Haze on the Horizon, a hazy Indian pale ale from Coronado. Um, super orange. Showing you the picture. Here. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love the I love the logo. Thanks for bringing that by for yeah. us. Appreciate it. I, it. Actually, there is none of that left. <laughs> it was good. It was pretty all right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Was it just sold in four packs? Yeah, four packs. You can walk in and get it. In the, <coughs> right, Excuse me. Right when you walk in their brewery, they have a a cold. cold Did you were you in the Coronado? Uh huh. Okay. Because there are there are in other places though, right? Do they have another? I thought they had one more um, Little Italy, or yeah. um, that's a good question. I know the uh, I used to Megan used to it's, uh, during like so. There's two different swim seasons, right? Long right. course and short sure, course. Yeah. So when when Megan's swim team uh, when they were training for long course, like two days a week, I think it was Tuesdays and Thursdays they would have to, they would swim for like an hour and a half at, in Coronado. So I would like take that hour and a half to go grab myself an appetizer and a beer. Actually, at that point, you probably didn't have to have an appetizer to have a beer at a, uh, no. at a brewery. Imagine that. You could go to a brewery and have a beer. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. That's so 1920. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or 1820, whatever it was. 2020. Yeah, that was, uh, that was 20, 2019 like is ago. what that was. Yeah, that was the best part of driving over there. Yeah, that's some pretty good food there too. Yeah, but now, yeah, the food is great. Yeah, the line that was out the door, people trying to get wow. in. Wow, people are hoarding like toilet paper. Out I walked out. I think with, like, I think I had four or four packs, and some yeah. guys like, "Hey, we're gonna be leaving, looking just like <laughs> <laughs> right." right. <laughs> yeah. I didn't come to watch. What you drink? What did I have this week? Um, I'm not certain. Let me, uh, what, well, how about you, Charlie? What'd you have? I have several. Uh, hmm. Endegrin, Dunkel, mm. Lager it was awesome. Uh, then I had, uh, some, uh, Courage, the Cowardly Fog from Humble Sea was awesome. Then I had North River Brewery IPA from Colorado and then, uh, Schwarz beer from another brewery in Colorado. I can't remember the name of it. Both those are all right. Um, then I jumped on to uh, the Wizard of Fog, another one from Humble Sea. But that was it. Till today. Bam. I'm ready. Ready for another. Um, so I popped a couple of beers uh, this week. I had a um, I think an 8th State Horus a falcon air. Mm-hmm. Um, was that during the last show? Do we have that during the show? I don't think we did. No, 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 we just did. You just said Horace. Man. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was really mouth, good. My mouth waters. It was good. Um, <laughs> I, I uh, yeah, He's, I was. I was, got Pavlov's dog <laughs> over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that was really tasty. I was excited about that. Uh, so it was a uh, Eighth State um, Brewery in, in South Carolina, um, and a and a. Um, they collabed with Horace on this. It was great. It was a bunch of different uh, styles of uh, um, of coconut mm. in there. Uh, it was a really, really, really tasty beer. I think, I think that was probably the most. I'm looking for some Jay Wakefield. You know, I was going to bring a bottle of Jay Wakefield today. Mm, we'll drink that next Maybe time. Maybe next. Maybe next time. Next time. We got some things in the hopper for beers, that's for sure. Okay. We're about ready to crack a lack on this. Uh, the stout here, collaboration, Slice and Bottle Logic. Now, I've never had anything from Slice, hmm. and Bottle Logic is a excellent brewery. This looks dark. Is this a stout? <laughs> Holy moly. That is black as night, my friend. 
So what's up, Mr. Cheezel? It's a uh, pastry stout collab with Bottle Logic and, and Slice, as Charlie mentioned. That's loaded with uh, Tahitian Madagascar vanilla beans, along with vanilla coffee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like coffee and Madagascar vanilla beans. Got a huge foamy head on mine. Smells, smells almost... Uh, trying to say woody but i don't know was it was it barrel aged it's not mm. big negative what am i smelling it must be the coffee it smells like coffee yeah <sighs> yeah it definitely smells vanilla i think a little, mm-hmm. a little coffee on there it's a little sharper than i prefer but it's it's pretty good yeah definitely i think that that coffee taste in there 16 uh, ounce can that's a plus I mean, you can't uh, can't overdo it with this. What are we talking here on uh, ABV? Because that could be a uh, point of no return there. I'm not seeing it. Oh, 14%. Holy cow. There's a bump. I'm still getting a lot of coffee smell. I don't know. It's definitely kind of, you know, I think, I think you do taste quite a bit of coffee in there, like well, a... There's something about coffee in, in stouts. I mean, it can either soften it or it can overpower it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know about this one, but I'm going to have to drink a little bit more of it, obviously. But it tastes, it's almost it it's almost overpowering. Yeah. It might be that it is cold. It is It is yeah. kind of chilly. I yeah. was going to let it set for 30 minutes or so. And then where's the, <laughs> oh, I don't have the time. I have the temperature gauge over there somewhere. So we can warm it up with a fire. I didn't even start the fire. What's going on here? I don't know. Man, it's amateur It's hour going down, around here. downhill quick over yeah. here, well, folks. Well, see, that would have warmed everything up right there. What a... That's unfortunate. Now, but I, in on, on a level of how good it is at this temperature, I mean, it's it's in the 60%. I mean, it's it's not the 100 percenter guys. You know, it's not up there. <laughs> not what you're looking for. I'm not saying it's not what I'm looking for. It's not what I'm. So you used prefer to your drink. beers in subpar? That's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hundred percenters, like uh, Horace and uh, you know Monkish or not Monkish, but Mostra, Mo- Moxa with Mostra coffee. Hey, speaking of which, yesterday, you know, speaking of uh, you mentioned Mostra, they um, they just mentioned that they're going to or they got approved for their. Uh, their little um, their beverages next door to their, um, so they can now sell beer. Any any mention of that to the uh, to you, you club members? I didn't get an email, hmm. but hmm. I th- they mentioned it previously. Yeah, yeah, I think they they had mentioned yesterday, um, or maybe maybe I just saw the news yesterday, but that they um, th- they were making an events. I thought it was like an event center next door hmm. in Port or. Uh, Ranch area, not Forest Ranch, but yes, please. <laughs> it's a Forest Ranch, or is it the uh, Carmel Mountain? I'm asking you as the as the member, as the TME member. I I was going to wear my long sleeve T shirt out here that said, you know, TME member at Mostra Coffee. Here, so this is what they this is what they posted. Um, you know, they just said uh, Mostra Six, the the party that they had had last year, will go down as one of the. Uh, the three most epic moments in Moster history. Uh, but then they said, with that being said, we are beyond excited to announce that today we officially re- re- officially received our beer and wine license for Moster 4S Ranch. Yes, that's coffee, food, wine, and craft beer all under one roof. Uh, that wow. means exclusive access to our highly sought-after collabs throughout the year uh, in a much more intimate setting. That's good news. Yeah, for sure. So 4S Ranch. 4S Ranch. Yep. That's 10, more, that's 10 minutes further up the road. Yeah, no, that's um, gosh, I'm I'm excited about that. Hey, what about that bear or cold brew we got from them? That was pretty all right. That was that legit. Was, Let me they did a you. they did this O oh fudge line of cold brew. Oh, it was amazing. And then they so and it, it tastes like like chocolate cake, but it's with cold strawberries. Brew. Well, this one was like with strawberries and like <laughs> so it was like yeah, chocolate. I was I was blown away because I mean, being a member, I got to taste it. And so you get a glass of it with ice cubes, and then they pour 
heavy cream in there, mm. and it just, you know, it was barrel aged like a stout would be. Let me tell you, that stuff was. I, I've never even drank cold brew before, and that was a, a magical. I mean, I was pretty impressed. I gave one to Chris. You drank that one I gave you, right? Mm-hmm. So I have the non barrel aged one. I have two of those, and then I have one of those barrel aged ones left. So. I had a so I I tried to get a um one of each like the the regular non barrel aged one which they <laughs> gladly sold me one of maybe maybe I could have gotten two but then I asked if I could get the other one and they were like oh no that's only for members <laughs> no that was my they turn to, they told me Friday I, or Monday I could come back in and get more and then they didn't have yeah, any they were sold they were sold out Sunday yeah, yeah. it was great it was super good. Me and Megan drank those uh, both this week. I saw vanilla on my tongue from that. The vanilla is really staying in my my palate. Yeah, yeah. on this on here. The, yeah, yeah. I I agree. Like it's kind of it's coffee up front, mm-hmm. and then um, that vanilla on the back end. It's getting a little better as it warms up. I don't know. It's just got sort of an acidic taste on my tongue, sort of. Maybe it's that head that I've got on there. I didn't. You guys don't. You're not carrying a head. Mine's I think it is kind of acidic, a little. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, no, I think it's great. I think it's better as it warms up. Yeah, but I'm just one of those people. That, I'm just a big fan of uh, like mellower stouts that with adjuncts that just take off the harshness. You know, so I just there's a certain way to do it, and these guys do it differently than somebody else, I guess. But since this was a collab, there's not any more of this one, though, right? Yeah, their their beers um, sell out pretty quickly. Like slices beers, mm-hmm. um, they're super small, um, little spot, little pizzeria with a little brewery. Where um, are they at? Uh, they're in Sacramento. How come we didn't go there? They were closed. Oh, that's why. Likely story. I think their head brewer came over from Moonraker. Mm. Like originally oh, wow. was okay. was that Moonraker, and okay. then went over to, that to one, slice. that's that's in Folsom, right? Yeah, somewhere right up there. Well, I'm impressed with it. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a great stout. It's just not my my style that I would have. Well, we'll try that. to we'll try to run that back next week then, and uh, grab Let's something that's a little fest. more your a uh, little more your style. A little stout fest. Mm-hmm. I'll bring four, and you bring four. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve will show up Steve, and go. We can't drink all that beer. Steve will bring the ambulance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Paramedic. Aren't you uh, covered in paramedic? Nope. Really? Yep. Dang, you should do that. Might have to, you know, do it. Give a CPR at some point here. Mm-hmm. It's really tasty. I like it. Uh, I am a fan. So we uh, to 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 recap, we brought together. Uh, I, I guess uh, four beers from from four different breweries. We had the Track Seven, the Kettle Sour. We had the um, the Coronado, uh, the the Bigger Boat, the Discordant Melody from. Uh, uh, Monkish, and then finally the, what's the name of that beer, Charlie? The Mr. Cheezel? Yeah, Cheezel. From Slice and Bottle Logic. What's up, Mr. Cheezel? What's up, Mr. Cheezel? Okay, mm. I want to, what was your favorite one out of the? Oh, I'm going to go with Bigger Boat, because I, I, mean, I just like Yeah, you so just much. brought that one. I know, but. Um, I think uh, Discordant Melody. I think I was pleasantly surprised there. Tasted really well, held up really well. It's not a bad choice. How Personally, about you, Charlie? I'm going for for the Among Us, the Kettle Sour. Yeah, so we're all the all the way around yeah, the board. How about you, super Steve? Legit. Which one? Kettle, Kettle Sour. Sour. Yeah. Wow, you're a fan, huh? Good call. And he's there a it stout is. guy too. Ah! Yeah, not enough vanilla coffee there, huh? See, there it is. You heard it. You heard it there. That's why I brought him, man. Him and his dog. <laughs> well, on that note, I guess Cheers, we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Oh, should we clink glasses? It's gonna be a reach. Wow. So someday you're going to break the accuracy. <laughs> well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier.
Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. In compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.